Yeah, as I mentioned in the short, dude, he's just a new gardener. He's super cool. He's super duper cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's super nice. His name's David. No, he, he dude, he's super cool. I promise you. I promise you. Um, what's up? <laughs> this is Skullgrin, and he's been upgraded using one uh, scrap hook, and we're going to go over the tutorial today. I hope everyone is doing super duper well. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's go. Uh, so, as you can see, we're using the collapsible leg move. I love it when Transformers have that. You know, it allows you to do a lot of cool build formery thingies. And so, from here, we just collapse the legs. And then we just plugged in the scrap hook legs on the bottom. To support the weight, we have the chevron over here, the exhaust plugged into the side tire. But we also have the little back piece. I mean, this is not really supporting it. At the same time, there's a little bit of weight on it. So you just fold down the tire, or not the tires, the treads that would be hanging off the back of um, a skull grain, right? And so over here on this arm, we just have the, the two of the... the his snugs, right? Because I don't want to say that word if you say it backward. Uh, just plugged into either side of his fist, and that looks really, really cool as this like nice ion blaster or something. On the shoulder, we have scrap hooks, tow bit just plugged in. This part it was probably the most complicated bit, the hand over here, to use a hundred percent of the parts. And um, I mean, you don't necessarily have to, you don't. But th for this one, I just wanted to try. I'd seen a couple of folks. Um, uh, like homie Farblechar, he had created this really, really cool, like, spinny web, I mean, disc of death, <laughs> uh, like, weaponry with, with the entire bot, and that was really, really cool, so I wanted to do something like that, and so, um, this is kind of cool, so I'll actually take take it apart so you can see. It's a really cool thing that Skull, Rick, Skull, I was about to go and say Skull Rick Roll, Skull Grin can do, which is to bend his fist down, which allows you to attach five millimeters at a different angle than you normally would, right? And so what we've done over here is this is just the crash or sorry, the scrap hook body. And then we've plugged in one of the blades over here. And then to get this to work, we are plugging this. Uh wait. <laughs> I'm gonna mess it up. I think it was over here. Yeah, I think it was over there. And then we just plug that into the fist. And there we go. Yo, that looks rad. If you can hold it up. Yeah. That's like... Oh, I have the power. That's some E-Man stuff right there, dude. Yo. <laughs> That's pretty tight. Um, and then on the back, that little tail bit, right? That comes with Skullgrin. A phenomenal piece, by the way. And I seen homie um, Sam Lawan tilt it sideways to actually enable it so that you have two female ports that you can use for verticality. I'm like, dude, that's genius. Never thought of that. And so anyway, like I said, it's always good to check people's builds out, build them and get a, get a sense of what they're doing and uh, learn from them. That's really cool. So that's really about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and he's holding the, the shin, the shin guards on his hands, um, to, to make it look like they're shoulder missiles and stuff. But cool, cool, right? So yeah, if you have one skull grin and a scrap hook, you can make this at home. So have a fantastic day, okay? Bye.